Imagine a world where every sunrise was a gamble, every shadow a potential predator, and simply making it to tomorrow was the ultimate victory. We think we know struggle, but our ancestors faced an unforgiving reality, a daily fight for existence against odds we can barely fathom. Today, we're stepping back millions of years, stripping away the comforts of modernity to truly understand the raw, relentless battle for life that forged the very essence of who we are. This isn't just history. This is the origin story of human grit, a testament to an indomitable spirit that persevered against unimaginable forces. Understanding their journey is understanding the DNA of human courage, and it will change how you see your own challenges forever. Picture the dawn of humanity, not as a gentle awakening, but a violent birth into a world teetering on a knife's edge. Our earliest ancestors, the first whispers of Homo, emerged into an epoch defined by its savagery. The African savanna, beautiful as it was, was a relentless gauntlet of death. Every rustle in the tall grass could mean a saber-toothed cat or a monstrous hyena, animals perfectly evolved to tear flesh from bone. They weren't at the top of the food chain, not yet. They were often the prey, constantly scanning the horizon, every nerve alive to danger. Droughts stretched for agonizing months, turning lush plains into dust bowls promising starvation. Floods could wipe out entire settlements in a single night. Disease, invisible and merciless, stalked every camp, turning a simple cut into a death sentence. Life was cheap, and survival was a full-time, brutal occupation. Think about it. No hospitals, no antibiotics, no protective walls. Just raw instinct, a rapidly evolving mind, and the terrifying, beautiful vulnerability of being alive. Their bodies were not yet the powerhouses we know today. They were a work in progress, often smaller, slower, and weaker than the apex predators surrounding them. It took a special kind of tenacity, an unbroken will to live, just to make it through one more day in a landscape that seemed purpose-built to extinguish their fragile flame. Yet, amidst this terrifying reality, something extraordinary happened. Our ancestors didn't just survive, they began to thrive. They weren't the strongest, but they were the smartest, armed with a powerful weapon, their minds. It started simply with a rock striking another rock, transforming a crude stone into a cutting edge. These first tools, the Oldowan choppers, were game changers. Suddenly, they could butcher carcasses left by larger predators, access marrow and strip tough hides, resources previously out of reach. But the true revolution arrived with fire. Taming it wasn't just about warmth, it was about transforming their world. Fire kept predators at bay, a flickering, defiant barrier against the darkness. It cooked food, making tough meats and fibrous plants digestible, unlocking more nutrients and fueling bigger, more complex brains. It became a social hub, a place for stories, for planning, for community. Around the fire, humanity began to truly separate itself from the animal kingdom, not just surviving, but connecting, learning, evolving. This wasn't an overnight discovery. It was countless generations of trial and error, of desperate innovation driven by the primal need to endure. Each chipped stone, each controlled flame, represented a colossal leap in a world that demanded constant adaptation. It was a defiant act of creativity, a testament to the power of a species unwilling to accept its place at the bottom of the food chain. They didn't just adapt to their environment, they began slowly, painstakingly to shape it. Even with their burgeoning intelligence and tools, life was brutally short and filled with unimaginable hardship. The average lifespan for many early hominins was probably no more than 30 years, and a significant portion of individuals never made it past childhood. Infant mortality rates would have been staggering, each birth a perilous event, each young life a fragile candle in a hurricane. Think about the physical toll. Every day was a marathon, often on foot, across vast and unforgiving terrain. 
Collecting food, carrying water, avoiding danger, it was a constant expenditure of energy with little opportunity for rest or recuperation. Broken bones, infections from minor wounds, tooth decay, parasitic diseases, these were not inconveniences, but life-threatening crises. There was no pain relief, no antiseptic, just the raw agony and the body's desperate, often futile fight to heal itself. Every scar, every gnarled bone found in archaeological digs tells a story of unimaginable pain and resilience. A fractured limb that healed crookedly, a skull wound that didn't quite kill. These weren't just injuries, they were trophies of survival, badges of a life lived on the edge. Imagine the stoicism, the sheer force of will required to function, to care for others, to hunt, to protect, while carrying such wounds. Their lives were a symphony of small victories against overwhelming odds, a constant reminder of their own mortality. Beyond tools and fire, the greatest weapon our ancestors wielded was their developing brain. The subtle shifts in skull size, the internal architecture we infer from fossil records, tell a story of rapid cognitive evolution. This wasn't just about raw intelligence, it was about complex problem solving, planning for the future, and perhaps most crucially, effective communication. Imagine a hunting party coordinating a strategy to bring down a formidable animal. This requires more than grunts and gestures. It demands a shared understanding, an ability to convey complex ideas, to teach and to learn. While full language as we know it took millions of years to develop, the foundations were being laid. This evolving capacity for communication allowed knowledge to be passed down through generations, building a collective wisdom that no single individual could ever accumulate. It meant remembering where the best water holes were during a drought, knowing which plants were safe to eat, understanding the migration patterns of animals. It meant abstract thought, the ability to foresee consequences, to innovate beyond immediate need. This wasn't just about survival, it was about understanding their world, creating meaning, and building the very first frameworks of culture and society. Their minds were the ultimate adaptive advantage, an internal landscape as rich and complex as the external world they fought to master. But survival wasn't just about adapting to one place, it was about the courage to leave it. Our ancestors were explorers by necessity, driven by changing climates, dwindling resources, and the innate human curiosity to see what lay beyond the next ridge. These were not leisurely migrations. They were epic, often perilous journeys into the unknown, pushing the boundaries of their existence. Imagine the immense bravery required to step away from the familiar, leaving behind ancestral lands for distant, unmapped territories. They faced new predators, unfamiliar plants, different climates, and geographic barriers that would challenge modern explorers. The Sahara Desert, the dense forests of Asia, the frozen plains of Europe, each presented a unique set of life-or-death puzzles. They carried their knowledge, their tools, and their families, their entire future resting on their collective resilience. These migrations weren't just movements of people. They were movements of ideas, of adaptations, of genetic diversity. Each journey enriched the human story, pushing the species to evolve faster, to become more versatile. Every step was a declaration of defiance against limits, a bold assertion that humanity would not be confined. From the savannas of Africa, across continents, over land bridges, and eventually across vast oceans, their restless spirit laid the groundwork for every expedition and discovery that followed. So, why does any of this matter to us, sitting here in our comfortable lives today? Because the struggles of our prehistoric ancestors are not some distant, irrelevant past. They are the bedrock of our present. Every challenge they overcame, every innovation they sparked, every act of cooperation they fostered, forged the very qualities we admire most. Resilience, ingenuity, empathy, and an unyielding will to live. The human spirit, that spark of defiance and hope, wasn't born in comfort. 
It was hammered into existence in the crucible of millions of years of relentless pressure. When we face our own struggles today, a personal setback, a global crisis, we are not starting from scratch. We are drawing upon an ancient, deep reservoir of strength that was hard won by those who came before us. Their story isn't just one of survival, it's one of triumph. It's a powerful reminder that our capacity to overcome, to adapt, to innovate, is not just a learned trait, it's an inherited birthright. It's woven into the fabric of our being. A silent promise that no matter how dire the circumstances, the human spirit, refined in the fires of prehistory, will always find a way. From the perilous savannas to the global migrations, our ancient ancestors faced a world designed to break them. Yet through their unparalleled ingenuity with tools and fire, their profound cognitive leaps in communication, and an almost unbelievable resilience against disease and a short, hard life they not only survived but flourished. Their journey wasn't just about enduring, it was about becoming, evolving into the adaptable, capable species we are today, carrying their legacy of grit in our very DNA. What aspect of our ancestors' survival story inspires you most? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're ready to unlock more incredible tales from history that reveal the true power of the human spirit, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell.